What's up, boys? Back with some Gonna more gunner weapon specialist here. over here. As and I'm going to be no trying to get the smart rifle again and do a build based around that with the weapon specialist. But there are so many projectile tagged weapons that you unlock, so you need some backup plans if you're going to be playing this class mod. So I also wouldn't mind trying another engineer weapon here, the Warthog, since that's a fantastic weapon. And with the great fire rate and reload that it has, it would probably be pretty solid at getting the passive to trigger pretty often. Just going to put a few levels into the lead storm early on to help out with the early game. And then I feel like the well smart done, rifle actually would be pretty good on this map. Let's take the crit here I'm probably. Since you're in the terrain mining a lot of the time, the smart rifle can actually fire over the walls and stuff and constantly cover you while you're mining. But just kind of hard to get a specific weapon here. None of those. So we got both of them actually. So I want to try the smart rifle. I know the warthog is going to be good. I don't know if the smart rifle is. Shows clear. Supply Crit chance, sure. Would love to have both of those. Um, that's getting kind of close to an overclock. Those are not great. I can use this. I guess probably just the crit damage. I'm going all in on the smart rifle. Let's see how it really is. I'm only gonna take lead storm if it's like the only thing available there. I'm gonna go ahead and drop some rocks on these guys to help clear them out a bit. There we go. Pretty nice paint job for it. For That'll help a lot with school. overclocks. XP, I guess I'll take that. It. It's early enough that it might be worth it still. So normally you would want to convert the smart rifle to electrical to get the shock debuff, but it would be pretty hard to synergize with that on the gunner. I could get Warthog and convert that to electrical and then use the Nishanka, and that would get me three medium electrical weapons, which might actually be pretty good. But if I'm going to attempt that, I should probably wait and see what my third weapon is at least. There's probably also the stubby and some other stuff like that. Let's grab the smart yes, rifle please. level. That might actually be kind of cool, medium electrical gunner. I don't think I've done an electrical gunner before. And the smart rifle overclocks are pretty limited. I think there's only three balanced overclocks for it. So not a lot of choice there and only one unstable, which isn't very good. I'm gonna try and pull them away from that corner so I can go back up for all the resources over there. Go away, roly pullies. Yeah, give me some sugar. I probably need to get some detonators on the elites as well. Those guys are very healthy. Got some sport rifle. Sure, why not? So electrical. The thing is, I don't think that's that good. I don't know. Maybe it is. I'm not really sure how you'd calculate that. I guess I'll try for the electrical base stuff. This is gonna change everything. This is growing out of hand. Get the done, one man. overclock that I didn't have there is probably the best one. I think it's 25% fire rate and reload speed together. Never felt better. So we've got paint job, fire rate. I'm gonna be putting a lot into this, so I think I'm gonna go with the it's fire rate here. Magnet I could save for a bit later. Those guys are still really healthy even with those explosions. Try 
try and get some lead storm off. Ticking, miner. Get it wrapped up. The guy is really fast. Let's see if I can get some more detonators. Got some fire rate. Feeling much better now. Running out of bugs. I'm, that one is really fast. I might not have enough damage to even kill these guys. I should probably grab the magnet for some levels here to try and guarantee that. Let's do a reroll here. Eh, I guess that's okay. Try and get some more lead storm damage. So I'm looking for the warthog plus some other electrical. Nishanka actually matches that medium and electrical, and it has the acid debuff as well. So I guess that's fine. Bolt shark attack. Take the bolt shark. It's calling Could to use me. some damage here. That's probably the best. Use this. And then Stubby would probably be the best fourth weapon if I can get the sidearm overclocked for that to it's increase done, everything by 25%, but reduce its own damage. Uh, if I go for those rocks there, I'm probably going to end up in a bad spot, so kind of risky. Just what the doctor ordered. Watch it. One of them is kind of low. I think those rocks are almost down now, so maybe that could help a bit. Oh, they were a bit lower than I was hoping for. Get some more detonators. I don't think I can go in there. Gotta move it, miner. The bugs are gunning for you. Got some more smart rifle. Might as well. You ugly son of a bitch. Need to finish this off pretty soon. The bugs are getting worse. Move it. Some big XP at least. More smart rifle, XP pickup radius. Uh, I don't have any of that, and it's this. higher rarity, so I should probably grab that. I guess I'll take that. This makes my whole life Fire rate damage. Take this the smart rifle. Crit damage. Global damage. I, already feel stronger. Uh, I could use a little bit of HP. I can't get enough of this rare and stuff. then both of these can be converted to electric. But I'm not sure how many points I'm going to be putting into them. The stubby would be ideal, but there are so many weapons on this class. I probably should just take one of these. Um, I think that's probably more useful without a lot of investment wait, into it. The take the big smart rifle. XP, I don't think that's going to help much now. I already have a decent amount of XP investment and I'm close to half of my this levels. So I can take this, and I think that's probably the best overclock for the smart rifle. Two levels will help look for the conversion. Big pickup radius, but I have quite a bit of that already. You don't see these every day. Clock's ticking, miner. Get it wrapped up. Definitely need to finish this off now. Let's grab a bit more movement. I am not going to hang around here. These guys are seriously ramped up right now. Um, I think I will take that over a white. That'll help me get the unstable a bit faster. Can I greed that? No, I can't. I can't get through the rocks there, so I'm not going to lose a ton of HP for that. Stage one completed. Well done. Taking you to stage two. It's a pretty big movement speed. Sure. Smart rifle. Too shabby. Um, I probably want some nitra, but I also don't have any mining speed yet, and that's now pretty nice to have on this map. Treat. You have your objectives. Damn, I forgot my lunchbox. Luck. Still have a decent amount of time for that. Out. 
then you can see it's actually pretty nice that the smart rifle is firing over terrain like that. There aren't that many weapons that can do that. Drones are pretty nice for that. I think the boomerang maybe can. But none of my other weapons on this build can. That's going to be a bad spot with the difficult to get through rocks there. I'm going to probably drop this and then run through the bottom for now. Don't want to get stuck up there. Exemplary work. You've achieved your objective in a wreck of time. Feeling much better now. So I'm basically full medium now, and with the conversion on the boomstick, I'll be basically full electrical. Obviously, I can't really do anything with the lead storm, but that's all three of my other weapons. Grab the smart rifle. Bingo! It's kind of hard for me to push through a big swarm. I can soften them up from the outsides even when I'm mining stuff, but it's kind of hard to get directly to where I want to. Yes, these are not great, and I am taking a lot of damage right now, and that was buffed in the last patch by 50%. That would give me an overclock. If I get piercing shots, it would be pretty helpful. I'll probably take that over just 5% damage, and there we go, piercing. That'll help a bit with the frontal clearing problem. Just what the doctor but I'm not really scaling kinetic. Probably just some reload here. I'll take this one. Should be getting some damage started on the elites here whenever I have the lead storm ready to fire. See if I can get some detonators. Threat level increasing. Electric crit is not bad. I will need to get some levels there eventually. It's a lot of red guys all of a sudden. Try and pull them into some more detonators. Pretty nice hits there. Crit chance. I should probably take the overclock here. Could really use some damage. Just the upgrade so I was that will give me a big damage increase Over to that. To Got some 
paint jobs on the like boomstick. One more level and I can look for the conversion on that. Go over some more detonators on the elites. Kinetic, nope. Just take the Nishanka Four. here. Nishanka, that'll help I apply debuffs with both fire rate or reload speed. More detonators. Big fire rate, that affects all four, not bad. Go for some rocks on them. as much XP as I can now. Praetorian is taking forever. Let's take the damage for electrical. Gotta move on. It's getting worse down there. Got a level on the boomstick. If I can get the conversion there, that will be pretty I'm helpful. Nope. Um, I'm not sure which is better of those. I'm probably getting limited by how many enemies it can pierce, so weapon range might not help that much. Says it's time to kill. Big projectile it's damage, fire rate. Uh, let's get a bit of armor. I'm taking a lot of hits here. Reload, uh, just take the Nishanka. Big crit damage. You're really pissing off the bugs. Quota is satisfied. The drop pod is arriving. Get moving, it won't hang around. This is getting pretty rough, so I'm gonna head out of here. Elite never stood a chance. I will see to it there is a beer on the house when you make it back. If you make it back. Don't think I care about the lead storm. Fire rate is fine. Take a level I'm on the boomstick. Still want the conversion Next. for that. This works. Overclocks for Feels the Nishanka. Right. That will help apply debuffs a lot more. Fire rate is so. not bad. Reload on medium is pretty good also. Hell yes. Could grab oh, that and yeah. look for. A Nitra reload on those is okay. I could really use that, I suppose. Epic upgrade. That's a no -brainer. If I get the conversion, it's going to be a huge upgrade, but if I don't, it's going to be a pretty big waste as well. I'm not hitting that fourth one for some reason. Only danger in darkness awaits. Down. Objective completed. Get ready, they'll be with you shortly. My damage on the elites definitely feels pretty low. I could face them a little bit more for the lead storm. But I also have pretty good artifact there, that's not super useful. Would love to have the fire rate one though, to really pump out the weapon specialist passes. Locate the LZ and prep it for landing. Ooh. Ooh. 
I can probably pull that detonator towards the middle and mine out a lot with that. There we go, fire rate. Status effects. I mean, it's probably better than kinetic once I get the conversion, but I don't think it's very good. Epic upgrade. That's a no-brainer. What is that guy doing? Magnet in the bottom right. The swing is heading your way. Load up. The Smart Rifle actually does do pretty well on those roly-poly elites if it's locking onto just one of them. It does seem to chunk that one pretty hard. Get the damage on the jury. Go for some big rocks here. Some more big rocks if I can get those started. One bad thing about the electric conversion is I think the weapon specialist passive is always kinetic damage. So that will be a lot worse as an electric conversion versus a kinetic, I think. They're getting worse, Miner. You need to move. It doesn't seem to be triggering that often with this build though. With some of the really crazy weapons, like the gun platform and stuff like that, you can trigger it multiple times a second. Go ahead and drop some more rocks. Probably farmed enough XP for this level. The bugs aren't appreciating your presence, Miner. Get the lead out. Got it right between the eyes. Reload. I do need some more levels there. Hell yes. Well done. Objective completed. Drop pod has arrived. Get there now. It will leave without you. Let's show them some pie! Get some detonators off right in the middle. Gather up your beard and get onto that drop pod. It's about to leave. I will probably take a higher one for the smart rifle. I do still want to focus out. that. Completed, taking you to stage four. We did good work, Miner. Big crit damage to go I'll with the artifact. Reload into the overclock. And I didn't get the electric. Come on, man. I guess I'm going to take that to get kinetic out of the pool since I don't really want to be upgrading those two. So that will give me I'm some okay crowd control weapon. at least. I don't think at 54 I'm going to get much value out of that. So I'm probably going to skip that. I just became a, I want another go. Fire rate there. It'll do. For more debuffaging. I guess I'll still take that for Joint. just the two weapons. Load up and get going, miner. We have quotas to fulfill. So unfortunately, I now have 12 levels in, well, 11 levels into that mostly wasted. Danger in darkness. Here we go. Found some nitra.
Yeah, if it's just locking onto one target each, the damage seems pretty bad there, but then it all goes on that one guy and it kind of messes him up. So I guess maybe it's more of a single target weapon. The electric conversion would even improve the AoE a bit with some extra chain lightning and stuff, but it doesn't really seem to be that effective there. Mushrooms up here. Magnet towards the pickup radius. Oops. Um, that's kind of bad now. This is it. A swarm is heading your way. Load up. Think you can kill me? Think again. Yeah. Bounces. The big swarm is approaching. Actually, if I land those into this fly area, it takes a long time to get them out. So it's not ideal if I go for that. Oh, don't die, Feeling much better now. You want some more? Big damage doesn't really help me that much. I guess I'll try status. In. Hopefully the smart rifle will help a bit here a lot of rocks to get through. Get the detonator over there. Accidentally freeze him instead. Say hello to my little Try and go for the supplies now. Alright, this build seems pretty bad. I can't get through anything. God, that was close to being really bad. Take the Nishanka. Uh, I'm literally surrounded right now. Holy. Uh, medium reload. Okay, I was so close to dying there, I don't think I'm gonna push this. My AoE damage is so bad. Medium reload is decent. Crit chance is fine. Do like fire rate. I don't think I'm gonna put gold into that. I do need some nitro upgrades here. That's pretty big. Um, probably want to reroll again. I want another go. I don't really want that. Let me try again. Um, that would put me close to an overclock. 
I could get knockback, I guess. Looks beautiful, like me. This is the big one, miner. Find and destroy the cocoons and take out that dreadnought. Never felt better. Loot bug eliminated. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to recommend this build. The AoE is just so bad, I can barely move anywhere. Got some excellent artifacts as well. The squinties for the dual crit and the huge fire rate. Goes great with the specialist passive. Now I just need Pickled Nitra or the Pay to Win console. The boomstick's actually pretty good at keeping elites off me. It has knockback by default, and then it does freeze them a bit. And then getting the knockback on the Nishanka would be helpful with that also. Well, every shot is hitting that flyer, but it's not doing that much to him. That will teach you. You're cute, but you're dead. I'm gonna save the supply pod for the boss here. My damage is pretty weak, and my AoE is extremely weak. So it's going to be very easy for me to get swarmed. And then once there are enemies all around me, the smart rifle is gonna have lower boss damage as well. That will get an overclock and the reload is good, so knockback. Don't think that works on bosses, but it'll help keep enemies off me a little bit. Combined with the jury rigs, hopefully that'll be enough to buy me some time. Should probably try and kill those elite flyers since those will be a bit annoying during the boss fight. Just like this giant wall of stuff I can't get through. And my weapons are too weak to push through them. Okay, so that's ready now. Boss is a bit away, so I'm gonna wait a bit. But it's so hard to get room for myself here. Uh, hopefully I can freeze them. I can't move! There's so many enemies and my damage is so bad. I can't go anywhere. There's literally so many enemies I can't move. Yeah, this build is not good. I could have gone up a little bit there and gotten a little bit more time, but I kind of needed to get the supply pod there to have enough damage for the boss. I had great artifacts though, like the squinties, fire rate, and the HP are all best in slot, typically. Clipboard doesn't really do much, but I mean it's still better than average overall. 
17 and a half million is pretty weak for a main weapon. I mean, typically you're at like 30 to 50 million for your primary weapon, so at best it's around half of what a main one would be. It was pretty bad at triggering the weapon specialist passive, and none of my other weapons that I added were great for that either. So yeah, would not recommend that build. Not a very smart rifle, it seems. But that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.